forget about that right now. We got news because the big boss man, Brian Alvarez, is not here. So, of course, something broke. Just didn't happen to be on Vince McMahon, no. This one's got to do with Daniel Cash Wheeler, who was facing a third-degree felony charge stemming from a road rage incident in Florida. As first reported by the Orlando Sentinel, Wheeler has been charged with one count of third-degree aggravated assault with a firearm and booked in circuit court where he appeared today and posted a $2,500 bond. As part of the bond agreement, Wheeler was ordered to turn in any weapons he owns within 12 hours and was told to have no contact with the alleged victim, which he does not know, or any witnesses. PW Insider has confirmed that Wheeler did not have to surrender his passport and there are no restrictions preventing him from traveling to London for the Wembley show All In. Wheeler is being represented by lawyer Bruce Akins from the Umansky Law Firm and does not have any other prior criminal record. Wheeler is alleged to have flashed a handgun at another person during a road rage incident on July 27th. A warrant for his arrest was filed the following day. According to Orange County, Florida records, Wheeler pleaded not guilty through a lawyer on August 3rd and turned himself in on Friday morning to Orlando police. AEW has issued a statement to the Orlando Sentinel in response stating AEW has been fully, excuse me, quote, AEW has been made aware of the charge and we are closely monitoring the situation. He is fully cooperating with local authorities, end quote. So that's that. Ian Carey on the front page of the Wrestling Observer website noted that according to Florida-based law firm Hanlon Law, the maximum penalty for the charge in Florida is five years in prison or five years probation plus a $5,000 fine. The firm notes that even first-time offenders could face jail time for the offense. So... That's where everything stands as of right now, 18 minutes past the hour at 3 p.m. Eastern time in the afternoon on Daniel Cash Wheeler. And I know there's a lot of moralists and there's a lot of lawyers and we now have experts in international travel who have all decided to weigh in. There's always a lot of experts when something like this happens and you got to have a knee jerk reaction or you got to have a hot take to it. The reality of the situation is we don't know what happened. Yes, on the surface, really bad idea to be flashing your gun at anybody. And I've seen a lot of people just jump on that. You don't know how the people in the other vehicle approached him. Were they following him? Did they run up on him? Did he put somebody in Cash's car? Did, did he feel threatened? You don't know. You just don't know. Is it a good idea to be brandishing a weapon in a road rage incident? No, it's not. And I had to go. You can get money off on your insurance in Delaware if you go to a defensive driving course. One of the things they tell you there is even if you're upset before you decide to flip somebody off, remember you're in a state with a lot of military, a lot of farming, a lot of hunting. You go up north. Into Wilmington, places like that, it's a it's a different area. There's a really good chance that if you flip somebody off, two out of five, three out of five, there's a good chance somebody's got a weapon in their car. And they tell you that specifically so you know, don't let it go. Calm down and let it go. Because you start jawing back and forth at each other, somebody may have a weapon on them, and then something bad could happen. But you also don't know what the situation is with Wheeler. Is it a situation? Again, Sonia DeVille had a, a weapon, was arrested for having a weapon. She was being stalked. This is a guy that's on TV. Again, I'm now sounding like I'm defending the situation, and I don't want to do that. But there are people that jerk so hard to the other way and take them off all in, take them off. How can they even travel? Well, there's how he can travel. He didn't have to give up his passport. He has not been convicted of any crime yet. He is alleged to have done this. Again, we, we should probably wait and see what happens. That is not going to stop anybody from loading up uh, forums full of their comments. It's not going to stop anybody from jumping on their social media and, and, and saying what they're going to say. 
a lot of good Arn Anderson Glock jokes and gifts and things like that. And, you know, there, there's always a creative aspect to those things. A couple of those have made me laugh. But the reality of the situation is you don't know. <laughs> you just don't know. There were people that immediately after this came out started bagging on Dax like he had anything to do with it. And I told you those guys were horrible. Good Lord. You just don't know yet. But he has been arrested. He's had to turn in his firearms. He is going to court for this. But again, he has pleaded not guilty. We will see what happens as things go along. We might as well stay on the law and order beat for right now because... If you recall a story from, oh God, what was it now? It was a couple of months ago. Brittany Abrams, a former WWE writer who sued the company and several WWE employees, she has dropped most of her lawsuits according to a new motion that was filed on Thursday. Abrams had sued WWE after she was released, alleging uh, racial and other forms of stereotyping in WWE creative. She complained about those things and then said she was let go because of it. One of those things, as you recall, one of them that was bandied about was they were going to send, who was it? Was it Grayson Waller was going to hunt Reggie as if that was a, a good idea? And again, some of these things that were in the writer's room where they said in jest, where they said, we don't know. And, and maybe as things start to come out about these lawsuits that she has, and again, her individual lawsuits against Vince McMahon, Stephanie McMahon, uh, Christine Luberano, who was the senior vice president of creative writing operations, uh, Chris Dunn, Mike Heller, uh, producer Jennifer Pepperman, all of those lawsuits have apparently been dropped, but there is still a lawsuit that is uh, against the company, which remains in effect. So we have to kind of keep our eyes peeled on that. Again, all the other individual suits have been uh, cast to the side for right now, but she is still going after WWE, uh, alleging that she was released after that she complained. So there you go. There is the, the high drama and legal portion of the proceedings out of the way, I believe. The show is still young. And Brian is still gone, so you never know what can happen here. You know, we may get some more drama by the end of the show, but... I'm calling it Down Granny's Memory Lane. Are you oh. reading from your memoirs? Yes. No, no, okay. no. That's past. Oh, okay. This yeah, is new stuff. This is more up-to-date, you know. I'm I see. More... Okay. This is the more recent stuff. Yeah, new old stuff. I just... No, said. no, okay. no, no. The <laughs> New Testament. Everyone let her go. We lived on a farm 10 miles east of Baker... More yeah. recent, you say. <laughs> I was going to say, this isn't new, no, this is old. It's old. Okay. Okay. Who said new? I didn't say new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we're just going to be not, quiet. And you, am I out of my you, mind? No, yes, we're all out of our minds. <laughs> now I'm upset. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I'll, I, I'm fining Vinny. Vinny, you're being fined $100. Oh. It was Martell's and Hebes. Hebes? One is Martell. <laughs> the Hebes. The Hebes. And the Heaps only had one daughter named Alice. Yeah. What's so funny about the name? The Heaps? The daughter Alice, uh, she knew how to yodel, and she was what what she'd call nowadays a rebel. The yodeling rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granny, if I may interrupt, what did they call her back then? Alice. Okay. <laughs> You thought I wasn't going to like this segment, <laughs> Granny? This is the best segment we've had on the show in years. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the Join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click Join today and don't miss out.